The next presentation is a microwave method for elucidating the mechanism of hydrogen exchange reaction by Kings at Tamar. Professor Tamar. Deuterium or other isotope is very effective to, 
to, to study. And we have studied various fundamental reactions by means of such approaches. And recently we studied a very classical reaction also, which is uh, the composition of homic acid. And uh, as, as you know well, uh, this is a very famous volcano system. And uh, during this reaction, of course, formate ion is frequently observed by means of infrared techniques. And if formate ion is very too stable, and this is a catalytic activity was plotted against heat of formation of formate ion. So, and if the formate salt is too stable, the metal is not so active. And again, if it is too unstable, again, it is not so active. Then they have to have optimum heat of formation of forming, forming that so. And this is a story which we can see in various textbooks of catalysis. But uh, Dr. Bloch studied the, such decomposition by means of isotope species, that is HCOH and so on, and he could observe four different rate processes. If the decomposition of formate ion is rate determining step, then they should show two kinds of rate. rate. HCOO should be the same for two species, and then BCO again is a, it should be should give the same rate of reaction. But actually, uh, for different uh, isotopes species. Uh, demonstrated for different rate of reaction. And we also recently studied the decomposition on, on silver catalyst. Again, it, is, it gave for different reaction mechanisms, uh, for different rate of reaction. And so the rate of decomposition of surface form ion cannot be the only rate determining step. So we studied such system in the steady state of the reaction, and we observed the amount of formate ion on the surface by means of infrared techniques, and uh, we studied the completion rate of such surface formate ion under vacuum and also in the presence of formic acid. Of course, in the, during the reaction, formic acid is always present in the ambient yeah. and. Uh, and uh, in the presence of formic acid, the rate of reaction is like this. But uh, at the vacuum, the formate, surface formate ion is very stable, like this. So the presence of formic acid in the ambient gas accelerates the, the composition of surface formate ion in this way. So the, the composition of formate ion on, on on this catalyst surface is accelerated by the presence of formic acid and we call it adsorption assisted decomposition of surface species. And in this way the deuterium species is, can be studied not only in isotope genetic isotope effect but also in such dynamic method. And this afternoon, I'd like to focus more about the microwave spectroscopy, which also gives very effective approach to study the mechanism of heterogeneous catalysis. As you know well, uh, for, for instance, propylene Monodeuterated propylene is four species, isomers. And then D2 species has seven species, and so on. And by using microwave techniques, we can easily estimate the quantity of each of the species. And uh,
Suppose we have protein and uh, deuterium atom, or D plus or D minus, and uh, they have exchange reaction between hydrogen or protein and uh, such deuterium. And if the reaction intermediate is one propyl species, what is the reaction? Well, any reaction can be. Any reaction. We don't have yes. to worry about a particular one. Yeah, that's right. D plus can be also. In many cases, D plus. I'm not reaching further from here. I'm sorry. Yes. If suppose we have associative mechanism, then first D is added to propyl, and uh, therefore mm, uh, normal propyl spe species here. And then if the if the this hydrogen is split off, then the propylene which is formed has deuterium in the center, central carbon right here. And if isopropyl species is reaction intermediate, and deuterium is added to prop to C2, CH2 group, then again that deuterium monodeuterated species will be given 60% this species in methyl group, D in methyl group, and 40% uh, in, in, in CHD, CH2 group. So by repeating such processes, then D2 species comes like this. And so if such a composition is plotted against reaction time, then it should give such figure. If it is concerted mechanism, which is uh, deuterium is added to, to CH2 group, and then hydrogen from methyl group is split up, then the deuterium should, be, should appear in methyl group only, especially in the beginning of the reaction. And if we repeat this reaction, then D2 species should have D atoms to in both sides, 100 percent at the beginning. And the, if it is dissociative mechanism, and then again, for instance, H is split off from this one, and then we have such one, and the two propenyl group is like this, and they give such monodeuterated propylene. And if Sigma allyl species are reaction intermediate. Again, then one of the hydrogen in methyl group is dissociated. And then so when it comes back to propylene picking up one deuterium, it comes like this. And deuterium appears in, in methyl group. And if they repeat such process, then D2 species, D species always come get into the methyl group. And uh, again, if it is, if the pi allyl species are reaction intermediate, then the first deuterium which is added should go either way, either end, and then deuterium comes into methyl group. If we repeat this process again, then 50% of D2 species is. Uh, deuterium in both ends, and 50% in, in metal group only. So even if we can imagine various reaction mechanisms, if we study such behavior by means of microwave techniques, we can elucidate what is a reaction intermediate, especially this mechanism, and uh, this mechanism, and this mechanism, three mechanisms first give um, deuterium in methyl group only. But uh, if we study D2 species at the beginning of the reaction, then this concerted mechanism should give de deuterium in both ends 
and uh, in this case only in metal group and in this case 50-50 of the mixture. So by studying D2 species, we can elucidate which of the three mechanisms is, is valid. So, well, as you know, in various cases, concerted mechanism sounds very fancy mechanism. And uh, in many papers, it is proposed that reaction takes place in by concerted mechanism. But uh, in most cases, it is uh, just the imagination. And they have, they have no proof to support such mechanism. But this is, I think, uh, one of the most uh, efficient or, or good ways to to tell the difference between concerted and not concerted mechanism. And we so we studied by means of such a process. We we studied various systems. For instance, in the literature, in the case of of isomerization on, on, on phosphoric acid, they say that, uh, for instance, such olefin is absorbed like this, and the uh, geometrical arrangement fits in this figure. And so, so concerted mechanism gives deuterium from one end and hydrogen is split off from the other. And uh, so it looks a nice mechanism, but uh, we studied this system by means of our uh, approach. And, uh, but uh, the result is like this. And uh, this is typical isopropylene intermediate. So deuterium is added to, or D plus should be added to, to propylene to form isopropyl species. And then such uh, isomerization or deuterium gets into propylene takes place. So we studied in this manner various systems. And, uh, and especially Professor Tanabe of Hokkaido University was very helpful in, in collaborating with this such experiment and he sent uh, six or seven samples which might be might work as concerted mechanism but uh, none of them was concerted mechanism and uh, of course such a result does not show that uh, no concerted mechanism should be involved of course but uh, if we can find out a good system which certainly taking place by a concerted mechanism, it will be very interesting. What the condition, under what condition concerted mechanism should take place or not. We extend such experiments studying Similar reaction, exchange reaction between deuterium and propylene on, on interlayer compound of graphite and potassium. And uh, as you know, this system is an interesting system, and uh, every other layer, potassium, <coughs> is integrated in that layer. And uh, when we study such exchange reaction, it is a uh, Conclusion is, is, is it is typical pi allyl species. And so propylene is dissociatively absorbed to form pi allyl species. And then deuterium is added to form monodeuterate propylene. So various catalysts gives, give various reaction mechanisms. And we can study such mechanism by means of, of such microwave techniques. We also study catalytic activity of gold deposited on, on silicature. 
And you know, Bodhi, in many cases, considered as, as very not catalyst. But uh, when we studied the system, it uh, exchanged deuterium got into propylene molecules, and uh, the propylene molecules, D1 species, which is formed first, was 2D1. So D, D atom uh, is added to, to central carbon. And the interesting thing is uh, when as mm, more deuterium is added, then for with reaction time, this amount decreases like this, and instead deuterium appears in methyl group. And this is a deuterium comes to the, the other end. So in, in this manner, we could study deuterium behavior or, or absorbed state of propylene on gold surface. In this case, when CH, no, C3H6 and C3D6 was mixed, very slow exchange reaction take place between propylene molecules. And, and, and much, much slower than, than such exchange reaction. And uh, when such reaction was in the in the in the absence of hydrogen, no exchange reaction take or, or intramolecular react exchange reaction takes place. So that is, for instance, if we start with such deuterated monodeuterated compound or such one, then in the absence of hydrogen, no reaction takes place. But uh, in the presence of hydrogen, then such deuterium mm, goes to, to methyl group in this way. And uh, in this case, again, this one goes to methyl group. So intramolecular shift transfer of deuterium takes place in such cases. It is so in this way, it is very interesting to study such system. And uh, we could get such results. For instance, when propylene is absorbed on gold surface, gold deposited on silica gel, then when normal propyl species is reaction intermediate, then deuterium comes to, to the central carbon. And actually, set at the central carbon, deuterium appears. But uh, in methyl group also, the deuterium appears. But the upper ste step is much faster than, than the lower step. And the uh, interesting thing is, if we start from this molecule, then it goes to to this species, and and so mainly methyl group stays unchanged, and uh, and uh, then D comes here, and then it, it goes to this species. <coughs> Excuse me. So this is intramolecular mm, isomerization, and. Uh, so one three H shift is uh, is taking place. This is a reaction mechanism which we imagine, and so such D to D species goes to methyl group in this manner, and also two three H shift takes place, and uh, D species in the middle goes to methyl group in this way. So this is a. Uh, just intramolecular isomerization, which take, takes place only in the presence of hydrogen. So by means of such microwave techniques, we can study such very interesting reactions. And 
And gold is uh, sometimes become active with it when gold is gold covers palladium. And uh, as uh, some of you will know, uh, Wise in, in SRI and uh, his group studied this system, and uh, which is a gold symbol covered by by excuse me, palladium symbol covered by by gold. And uh, inside of this symbol, when mm, hydrogen is absent, no reaction takes place for cyclohexene hydrogenation. When cyclohexene was introduced in the house, in, in this space. And, uh, but if hydrogen is supplied in the inside of this symbol, then hydrogenation takes place. And uh, so the, if hydrogen is present in, inside of this symbol, then hydrogen atom diffuses on, on, on the surface of gold. And then it hydrogen cyclohexene to cyclohexane. So not only the gold deposited on silica gel, we studied the behavior of gold metal for such deuterium exchange reaction. And the result was, uh, uh, well, we have to collect more data, but uh, it is uh, similar to, to the gold catalyst deposited on silver gel. So first thing was, uh, well, uh, normal propyl species is formation, and deuterium comes to the central part, central carbon, mm -hmm. and then, then it decreases slowly through intramolecular shift. So in this way, we, we studied such behavior on, on gold surfaces. And, uh, and in all cases, we, we can propose such reaction mechanism. So deuterium gets into propylene through normal propyl species and also isopropyl species. And then the, in the second, uh, second step, intramolecular isomerization, 1,3-H shift or 2,3-hydrogen shift takes place. And uh, so by using deuterium, we can observe such type of reaction. Thank you very much for your attention.